Hi everyone, it's Shelly with Shelly's Creative Crafts. Welcome back. So I just finished another journal and um, as usual, I'm very happy with the way it turned out and I actually found this, um, I don't know if it's chipboard or not, but it was two pieces of um, this chipboard or, or you know some type of board with these gorgeous poppies um, on it and so I knew that I had to make a journal with this on there and so I left the blank I uh, left the um, the front blank you know obviously didn't embellish it because I feel like the poppies are just gorgeous on their own and then I did do four signatures and then I did put the um, uh, the black and white striped ribbon um, going down the spine so i thought that that was a really nice touch and so i'm sure you can gather the color scheme um inside this journal so i did the um the lime green red and black um and white in this one um and so of course we have um our usual pocket um and it's a fabric uh pocket in the front and then i uh, did a um a uh, red um note card or, or tag with um, you know, some stamping and that sort of thing. And then this, sorry about that. This is a uh, bookmark that I um, also found at Austin Creative Reuse. And it's got the lime green and the beads. And so I thought that was really pretty. And then this is just some wrapping paper that I uh, backed with some coffee dyed paper. And then lots of coffee dyed paper, lots of room for writing, different scrapbooking paper that I was able to find. Um, I did do sideways, the sideways embellished paper clip with the little bead on it. And then um, this just says a grateful heart. And then I just did a sideways embellished paper clip with just some little um, little things on there. And then, oh, sorry about that. And then um, just some um, scrapbooking paper that I um, found. And then again, more of the uh, distressed paper. This is a real pretty embellishment that has the black, red, and uh, lime green. And then I found a wooden button um, that it was really pretty that had those <clears throat> that had the, the black and the natural color. And then just did some side embellishments as I always like to do. And then, um, again, this is the middle of the first signature, and then I did the red and the lime green and put some little bling on there. And then um, just some additional scrapbooking paper that I was able to find. And then I did do, um, I tried to do some red um, colored cheesecloth and then just do some, you know, sweet little embell embellishments down in the bottom and then the back side of that paper. And then this is a real pretty, um, almost looks, looks like a paisley looking tag, but I uh, actually um, adhered it and then so it can actually be a little tuck spot. And so put a little card in there. And then uh, getting back here to the end, this is more um, kind of wrapping paper that I also backed with the coffee dyed paper. And then um, just a, um, some more of the red and black and lime green and that sort of thing. And then the second signature is um, some more of the embellishments. I do have uh, some trim with some beads and we'll, get, we'll look into that. And then this was just some cute little, um, it was one of those calendar pages that I always find and it's got the watermelon and the ant and all that on there. So I thought that was really cute. And then of course, more lace. And I was actually gifted this weekend with some of these um, mother of pearl um, ivory looking buttons and they're really old. So I, I just love them. So I had to incorporate those in and then more scrapbooking paper. And then this was a fun little paper clip um, that I had in my stash and then um, just made a little card to go underneath that. And then of course, some more of those real pretty buttons um, that I was gifted and then just a little bit of trim down there at the bottom. And then just the regular uh, cheesecloth with the green and red. And um, then this is a, a, a pocket or a tuck spot. And then I made a real pretty um, tag with the reds and the greens. And this one has roses. And then we've got more blank paper for writing, the back side of that. This is uh, the trim that I was talking about that has the real pretty beads on it. Um, so I used that um, throughout. And then, of course, getting to the back here. And then the other side of that looks like a, a picnic uh, tablecloth. 
and then just some um, the back side of that. This is the beginning of the third signature. And then this is one of my bottle cap um, paper clips that I like to do the embellished paper clip. And I went with the, you know, the color theme of that, obviously. And then this is just a real pretty note card that's blank and uh, ready to be used. And so I um, thought that that was really pretty and went with the, the color scheme as well. And then we've got more lace and then uh, some more embellishments. This is a little brad um, that I have that I thought was really pretty. And then just some little um, trim up there in the corner. And then this is some real pretty wrapping paper that I found. So I did the back side um, with the coffee dyed paper and then just some little embellishments um, down in the corner. And then some more of this real pretty uh, trim. And then this is a really old, 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 old button. Um, so that's on there as well. And then here's some more of that beaded trim. And then I did put some uh, buttons, uh, some red buttons on with that. And then um, this is also some real pretty wrapping paper um, <clears throat> that I found. And I just love the little bird and all that. And even though it's not a lot of red, it's still got a little bit. And then, of course, the greens and all that. So, um, anyway, so I thought that was really pretty. And so, getting back to the back here. And then, of course, I did just some more little embellishments with that beaded trim. And then more coffee dyed paper. And then the last signature has got the bright, you know, colors and that sort of thing in there. And then this can be for pictures or whatever. And then just some, just some little trims and embellishments, some lace. And then this one um, does say picnic. Um, it's folded in half, but it's got the little ants um, going around and the watermelon and that sort of thing. And then just a um, just a sweet little side embellishment. And then another um, bottle cap paper clip. And this one um, just has some bling and a, and a to me that looks like a poppy. Um, so I definitely included that on there. And then this is just a plain tag for you to decorate up um, however you wish. And then the, um, getting back to the back here, getting close to the end, and then just some more, um, this is some more of those uh, mother of pearl buttons that I was gifted, and then this is just a, a side embellishment, and it just says from the garden of with the lime green trim, and then um, some more of the little trims, and then um, pocket back here. This is a paper uh, pocket, the paisley, and then I just put in um, one of the Prima cards that I really like. And this one goes, it is double sided, so it just tucks down in there. And then just a little, oh, there's a little tuck spot that I missed. I didn't put anything in there. I'll remedy that. And then um, just getting back here to the back. And then there's the other side of that um, paper there. And then the back side, and then the back end of that. And then this is the, the last pocket. I did um, just some little trims on there. And then I put in some more of um, the, the wrapping paper with the coffee dyed paper backing. And then um, just another Prima tag um, that says beautiful. So I thought that was really pretty. And so I will be listing um, this here shortly in my Etsy shop. And I hope you're having a great week so far. And I will be getting started on another one soon. So I hope you have a great week, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.